Shaq, we want to move a little bit to the European uh, discussion uh, currently yeah. ongoing. Um, actually, first, uh, hooking up on what Sinus just mentioned on, uh, and what you mentioned on mutating viruses. Of course, there's also a big discussion on uh, avian influenza turning into the next big pandemic. Uh, yeah. Already the discussion on uh, jumping uh, to mammals. Uh, in Europe, the, the, the mentioning of uh, for banning mixed pig poultry farms. Um, how is your take on that? How do you see that? The well, risks? I guess, involved. yeah, well, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's very well recognized that it's, uh, to have a next pandemic, we need a virus for for which the humans don't have uh, protection, and it has to be a virus that's well adapted to humans. Well, uh, and that's what we know from the avian viruses. They are not adapted to to humans. They are not adapted to pigs or or mammals in general. But uh, if you expose a sufficient number of mammals, including humans, to bigger amounts of of avian virus sometimes you get an infection and most of these infections are subclinical but a few percent of these infections are really causing serious illness with uh well uh a part of these people uh, die because of severe pneumonia but these viruses are still not adapted to for example humans and for that, they still need a number of more mutations. They have to spread from human to human. They don't have to, they have to, uh, we don't, if, if you see them and you stop it, then it stops as well. So there's a lot needed to, there's a lot of mutations needed. If a human or a mammal is infected, you still need to adapt to the, this species before you're su uh, successful. There is one especially danger, I guess, then it might go further. If you have a, if, if a mammal is infected that already has a mammal influenza virus at the same time, uh, for example, if a human or, or a, a pig is having a, well, for example, swine influenza, and at the same time is having avian influenza, you might have a reassortment as the result. And then you might end up with a swine virus, a pig, uh, that's having uh, some aspects of a swine virus and some aspects of, of an avian virus, and that's already more adapted to swine. That can happen the same in, in humans or in seals or in uh, well, all kinds of stuff. So it doesn't happen that easily. Absolutely not. The risk is low, but if you don't notice it and you don't stop it and it goes on too long, the virus might get adapted to this mammal. And that could also be a human. So I guess the risk in general is low, but because, because this virus is now in five continents in, in wild birds. And uh, so let's say I absolutely, the risk that it will happen at a certain farm is very low. But if it's in five continents, yeah, then you have a, a lot of little risks together and it might happen at some point. And if it's then noticed, you can stop it. If it's not noticed and it can spread for, start to adapt a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Yeah, then, then we might go the wrong direction. It's th that's re that's reality for influenza. It has never been differently. Yeah, it's it's already since the Spanish flu, and uh, <laughs> it it can happen. Yeah. But of course, we're more aware now after what happened uh, two years ago. So uh, th yes. that's just also why it's more, um, yeah, in the media, of course. Yes. Uh.